My name is Jennifer. I am the chef owner of Baker's Bench, which is a mostly vegan bakery. We're located in Far East Plaza in Chinatown. And yeah, I'm born and raised in Los Angeles. Baker's Bench opened in May of 2021 during the pandemic. There was a lot of press and stuff around it. And just being kind of a vegan bakery or a new thing in Chinatown, I think that was helpful. I've always liked cooking. I've always gravitated towards kitchens. My dad's side of the family had a Chinese restaurant in Columbus. So I feel like it's kind of in my blood, even though I never actually worked there. After high school, I went to community college, was supposed to transfer to a UC, couldn't figure out what I wanted to do or what I wanted to major in, and then I went to culinary school. And my parents were really against it, but they still let me go, um, and I chose baking. Tuesdays I come in for a little bit. I make what we call a pre-ferment. It's called a pouliche. It's a part of the croissant dough that ferments for a full 24 hours before we mix it. It gives this croissant dough really nice extensibility, which means that the gluten can stretch without breaking. And then it also gives the croissants like a really nice, nutty, deep, rich flavor. what it looks like. These are the layers. We make the dough on Wednesday. We do locking in, which is when we layer all the butter with the, with the dough and then we fold it. So we get 16 layers of each. And then uh, on Thursday today, we shape everything for Friday and Saturday. So right now we're gonna do raisin snails. It has almond cream and then raisins that we make ourselves in it. So we cut these long strips, and then we'll roll them up. Richard, what's your favorite thing about baking? Hanging out with you, chef. Oh, jeez. I feel good. I feel grateful. Uh, we have really, really nice guests. I don't think I've ever had anyone be mean to me or anything. So I do feel grateful. It's been nice to see people change in a good way. When I first opened, there was this gentleman that came and then a few months later, I think he broke his arm and his arm was in a sling. And now he's back and he's riding his bike and you know, his arms out of the sling. But just seeing him throughout the whole thing, that's really nice. Seeing people have children and then bring their babies, that's been really cute. And I love, um, I just love seeing that. I love seeing the community and I love growing with people. And there's people that have been coming since day one and I'm grateful for all of them. Thank you.